a woman is harassed on a local train. A man uses a train dustbin to relieve himself. Scenes recorded by CCTV cameras on Swiss Federal Railways trains. Notruf, Transport Polizei. Oh, we're in the operations center of the Swiss Federal Railways Transport Police. It's here that emergency calls are taken and where the feeds from surveillance cameras from all over Switzerland's train network can be viewed. At present, there are around 1,600 cameras installed in railway stations. Typically, what would happen is that a telephone call comes in alerting us to something. We have so many cameras that we cannot monitor all of them at the same time. At that point, the competent team leader switches to the feed of the camera of interest. If necessary, the feed can also be sent to a video projector where the live images are clearer. As well as the cameras at stations, the Federal Railways has around 12,000 cameras permanently installed on local trains. In this example, head of operations Daniel Bernasconi shows a fairly common scene. You can see the victim's headphone cable still hanging from his iPhone. While the person on the right is on the lookout, the one on the left has the chance to steal the victim's telephone while he is sleeping. In criminal cases, like aggression or theft, we have an 80% rate of successfully solved cases. The Federal Railways is convinced of the effectiveness of CCTV, and this year, the video surveillance team has more than expanded, from 5 to 12, planning more developments. Our next step will be to also have long-distance trains equipped with video cameras. Besides that, we have the ongoing optimization of existing facilities, like improving the picture quality of video cameras and getting better camera placement in train stations to improve viewing angles. Video surveillance is also used for operational purposes and emergencies, like in this case where a fire developed on a local train in Zurich. 